Hi everybody, Rob Keys here. I thought my last video was going to be the very last one for the campaign, but it's not. There's one more mission I forgot about called Made Men, as you see in the top right. Uh, it's the final of the nine missions that you get to play from both perspectives. So we already played through all nine as the militia, and now I'm playing through as the IMC, so this is the very last one. Uh, as I was saying in my previous video, you level up pretty quick in this game, because I've only played 17 maps so far, and I'm already level 21. So by the end of this, I'm going to be at least 22, I expect. So uh, that's pretty cool. I, I'm, on average, I'm leveling up more than one level per um, uh, per, per round played, I guess. But uh, anyways, this is the end of the quote-unquote story. And it's hard point. It's, there's only two modes that are used in the campaign. It's attrition most of the time, which is the game's equivalent of Team Deathmatch. And this, hard point, which is essentially just domination like you see in COD and Battlefield. So... Uh... This guy's complaining about teammates not knowing the difference between Team Deathmatch and objective-based games. Shotgun bunnies? Look at these guys, way higher level than me. So, I threw on a few burn cards. One of them, I think, gives me the LMG, which I haven't tried yet since the beta. Uh, I only used it once, then, as a burn card. And I also added, I think, a mag launcher, maybe? No, a sidewinder. Like, a, a sidewinder anti-titan weapon with twice as much ammo. I kind of like that gun. It's not very powerful, but it just feels good firing it. It looks cool. I don't know how effective it is otherwise. Um, and lastly, I think I put on a cloak buff. One time use. Do like a longer extended cloak. Militia forces are using unauthorized remote Not mad men. Made men. Hey, Bo. Keep Bliss patched in and he will be able to pull spectrum. Alright, select burn card. You want Once active we have camo? Control, or, no, we'll start with the LMG. Like a mouse. And the terrorists will have nowhere to run. Tighten mode out, this one. Oh, here we go. Yeah, take this fool down. Yeah, I got a kill. Cancel this burn card. Bonus. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. We got Bravo. Fuck. Hot point neutralized. I'm shutting down all enemy specters near the terminal. Hey, this gun's pretty good. I don't want to die because I'll lose it. Oh shit. Excellent. I have mainframe control for this section. Activating Spectre combat troops in the area. You guys really want this point, eh? Double the fun. There's a lot of Spectres. It's like a Spectre facility. They're all over the place. Look at these things. Anyways, I'm gonna defend A since I'm using a very defensive support-oriented weapon, obviously, and I'm so afraid to lose it. Look at the load. Fast reload time and everything. We just lost our so point good. We are Come on, guys. Cap some points, yo. Thanks for me, Admiral. Only IMC officers would know the frequency. Graves, what do you want to do, sir? You'll call whether I take it. Patching him through. Stand by for a secure line. Command authenticated. Stand by for Titan Paul. How many times do I have to kill this jerk? We just have Bravo. What? Oh. Alright. Gotta send me and my LMG on a mission. A mission! Shit. We just have Bravo. Shit. Waste. Lots of titans, so I'll activate this bad boy. Just lost half point Bravo. Get over. 
extended magazine, eh? Shit, 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 grenade. I want to end the war. Yeah? Let's fight harder. Maybe you will. Oh, step down. Everyone is stand against you. The good news is you got more titans. I've gained access. Neutralizing all hostile specters in the area. We got Bravo. Oh no, I'm typing. Shit, that was so dumb of me. One point Alpha is under attack. Get over there and stop him. Good pilot, you're approaching Alpha. Watch for hostiles. We just captured Hardpoint Bravo. We now have control of Hardpoint Bravo. I'm patched in. Deactivating all enemy specters near the terminal. We now have control of Hardpoint Bravo. Oh, was super sloppy in my part, but I got the job done. Yeah, just gotta hold these guys. No! Oh, every fucking time I type, I just die. It's just like, oh, I feel like I shouldn't be saying anything, but I, I want to win. Lost this last time. Hold B, guys. Hold B. I'll get Alpha back. We just lost half point Alpha. I got nothing. Someone get over there. You're close to half point Alpha. Check your HUD. Oh, really? Yeah, walk between his legs. He got five Titans on the ground. How ridiculous is that? Shit. Just lost half point Bravo. Get over there and patch me in. Get these asshole Titans out of here. Put it in the You're doing well. I'm patched in. Deactivating all enemy specters near the terminal. Charlie is under attack. Your place is ready for launch. Signal ready. Good one, these jerks. The enemy has taken over all hardpoints. I can't activate our Spectre army unless we control the terminals. Come on, guys. Hold these points. We don't have to be against each other, Blisk. It could be us against the machines. They're getting A. Whoever know who's better. Try to get B here. No person is better than another, Blisk. I disagree. You kill me. You're better. I'll kill you. I'm better. Yeah, I'm not gonna rag on these guys anymore. They know what to do. Really. It makes no sense that we can't hold one of these points, though. Hell, sass will charge. Check your hard pilot. Your cluster hard point, Bravo. God damn it. It's the kill by the shotgun. I'm dying. I'm shutting Way down too all much. enemy near the terminal. Oh my god. Whoops. Unless you fight alongside machines, but they believe in nothing. They have right. no loyalty. They're loyal only to their operator. You're gonna lecture me about loyalty. Transferring you change your uniform like you're changing sucks. In the end. Against faceless machines and people like you who fight only for a paycheck, we will win. Oh, 
I'll fight you for free, Graves. I have to find you on the ground soon, eh? Hold these guys, hold these. Well done. We've re-established control for this section. Initializing nearby specters to fight for us. I'm going down for his under attack. Get over there and stop him. Right, there we got A. We're now in control of hot point alpha. Lost again in the last mode. Command confirmed. All sword spectre combat assets set to self destruct. Stand by. 27 meters. Right out. Oh, there you go. That's the actual end. <laughs> All IMC forces. This is your vice admiral. Designation: Spyglass. The destruction of Demeter and the loss of many robotics factories has put us on a defensive footing. Although reinforcements from the core systems are unable to reach us. Battle projections indicate we are still an effective fighting force. Our garrisons continue to maintain order on the frontier. Until we are relieved, we will remain vigilant. We will nope. adapt, and we will prevail. We are the Borg. Oh, that says a lot. I don't think I was playing particularly well, but I was first place on my team. Alright, well, that's, uh, I'm curious to see what level I ended up with. I wasn't really paying attention, but I'm pretty sure I hit level 22 during that big mess. It's pretty cool art. Well done, pilot. You've completed the Titanfall multiplayer campaign. 
can now choose quick play from the menu. You can also replay specific missions or try classic multiplayer. Is quick play not available before? Well, anyways, I guess that's a decent way to bring players in to it first before they start just picking modes and playing competitively. Especially since, yeah, look, as you see here, they're playing the campaign. First, you beat it as, as the militia, you get the strider, and you beat it as the MC, you get this big bad boy, the ogre. An 800 pound gorilla? I think it weighs more than 800 pounds. There you go. So, 22 and a third levels. Fires magnetic grenades. What do I get for doing this? Travel 25 kilometers? I wonder if that unlocks anything. Alright, well there you go. Play classic. Yeah, so these are the five modes I was talking about. Basic stuff. Um, what did I want to see? Personal stats? I wanted to see... Yeah, I'm curious. Kill records. My KD lifetime average is 5.1. Last 10 games, 8.7. So, it's definitely improving. I think a lot of that has to do with that one match where I got like 14 kills, one death. Kills as a Titan. Pilot roll kills. Kills while ejecting. Three, that's kind of neat. What I really wanted to see was the challenges, though. Uh, oh, here we go. So these ones, most of them just give you... XP. Some of them give you... Oh, okay, that's how you get some of the more cool burn cards, it seems. But, anyways, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, I doesn't, doesn't, there's very little <laughs> story actually threading together these missions. It really is, like I've said in a couple of the videos before, just a multiplayer playlist featuring those the two basic main modes of the game. But uh, the gameplay is pretty fun. It works pretty slick. Um, just a little bit of few frame rate issues here and there. But outside of that, it's very clean. Uh, it looks and plays just like Call of Duty Modern, Modern Warfare 2, except you uh, have a lot more verticality, so to speak. Because... And you have a lot more parkour abilities. You can move faster and run against walls. That's kind of cool stuff. And the next stuff's fun. Um, I'm not sure at this point how long it's going to keep me. Like, I'm not really motivated to start playing multiplayer right now. Unless my friends are online. It feels sort of like an extension of another game. Like, if this game had its own sort of main unique mode, it would be something special. But it's not really there. I mean... Look, Last Titan Standing was not very good in the beta. Attrition and Hardpoint are the two basic modes. Team Deathmatch and, obje and, and your two objective-based ones here, right? Hardpoint, Domination, and, and Capture the Flag. These are super standard. And Pilot Hunter, just kill the enemy pilots to reach the score limit. That seems like Team Deathmatch is just pilots, not, not like Attrition. And the Variety Pack, it just mixes them all up. So, like, there's zero innovation or effort here towards building something new and innovative with these new gameplay mechanics, which is a total shame, considering every single one of these modes is simply 6 on 6. I was hoping for something bigger and new. Um, and since this is a game hyped up mainly on Xbox One, sort of like a big Titan, you know, Xbox or Microsoft exclusive shooter, I wanted to see some of the next-gen features, right? Was, like, getting in a mech is not next-gen, neither is the parkour stuff, and none of the gun or gameplay stuff is really, truly next-gen. And the maps are not next-gen, the 15 of them there are. Uh, I expected to, like, rip open buildings. Like, why can't, with these robots, like, crash through walls and do stuff like that? Um, I was expecting more. What they have is good and solid, but I, it feels like this is a free-to-play model, right? Just basic PvP, and they should be selling... Like, the game should be cheaper than 60 bucks or free, and, and you buy into customization options or DLC and stuff like that, but... Um, that's how it feels when you compare it to games like Hawken and MechWarrior, and I said that in a previous video as well, but uh, you see the quality of some of these free-to-play games like Warframe, and you're, I'll be kind of curious how this one justifies a $60 price tag, but anyways, that's the nature of the game industry on next-gen consoles, sadly, but uh, not a bad game, just uh, not much there, um, but if you're like a die-hard multiplayer Call of Duty style, like if that interests you, then you're definitely going to have a lot of fun with this. I just don't know if it's going to keep you around. I imagine the DLC is going to add mostly maps and stuff and maybe a few weapons and hopefully another mech would be cool as well. But three mechs, 
nine or 15 maps. I don't know. If I go, there's no way to actually pick a map, right? Which is sh shitty in these games. I just want to play a specific map. Uh, I think you can only pick by mode, but... It's also kind of a standard thing with first-person shooters. Not really, though. I guess in Battlefield, you can... You just pick whatever map you want and enter a server based on that map. But then the rotation changes. Um, but I'm not here to harp on the game. So that's... that's the 18 missions, it's really just 9 missions from both perspectives, and those those are my thoughts. So it's uh, it's pretty good. Not the best, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, I think this game would have been, like, awesome, like, 4 years ago or 3 years ago if it released then on the... Because it could look, the graphics look like it's just made for the Xbox 360 and PS3. I kind of wish they just released it back then. Um, even though the studio wasn't really making the game back then. But the, the, the graphics and the gameplay, it feels like it would have been a perfect game to come out 2, 3, 4 years ago. But, uh, hey, hope you enjoyed watching. Um, I may do a few videos here and there of the other maps and modes. I assume there are other maps, not just the nine. I think the leaked map list had 15 in total, so I hope that's the case when I play uh, the classic multiplayer. Um, in the meantime, uh, please like and subscribe and leave a comment on your thoughts on the game and what you expected from it. And I uh, hope you enjoyed watching it. Cheers.